Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. Today I am back with another video on SQL interview questions for Power BI. I have already uploaded two parts, part 1 and part 2 for this video series. I will provide the link in the description box so please check out those videos also, it will help you a lot. And if you are new to this channel and you are looking for a job change in Power BI role, so I would recommend you to watch my Power BI interview Q&A video series also, it will help you a lot in cracking the interview. The link of the playlist I will provide in the description box, okay? And please hit the like and subscribe button as it takes a lot of effort to prepare these valuable videos for you all. So let's start the video without wasting any time. Today I will cover 4 SQL queries that have been frequently asked in most of the interviews for Power BI developer position, okay? So this is the first query. Write the SQL query to find the second highest salary. Okay, pause the video and think of the answer. Let's have the answer. So for this, we can write the query like this. Select maximum salary from employee table where salary is less than inner query. Select maximum of salary from employees. So as you all know, the innermost query or the inner query is executed first. So this query, select maximum salary from employees will give us the highest salary from the table. Suppose it is 20,000. And now this filter condition salary less than this salary, highest salary 20,000 will give us the salary which are less than 20,000. Okay. And now what this query will give you, it will give you the maximum salary from the salary which are left except 20,000. So in this way you can get the second highest salary. And now you know the answer of this question. So if it is asked in the interview, you should be able to answer it. Okay. So let's move ahead with the next query. Write the SQL code to find the fifth or the nth highest salary using CTE that is common table expressions. So in this way they can ask you any number. Okay, fifth, sixth, tenth, any number they can ask. That's why I have mentioned here nth. And they have purposely asked you to write this code through a CTE that is common table expressions so that they get to know that you know about CTE also. Okay, think of the answer. Let's have the solution. So for this, you should know how to use CTE and what is its syntax, okay? So as you see here, with high cell as, high cell is the name of the CTE as we have an opening and the closing parenthesis. So in between this, we write, we write the specific query. Now we have used the select statement and incorporated the CTE that we have already created. One thing more, CTE is always incorporated in the next statement after wherever it is created. So we have created the CTE here as with high cell as and this query after that we have used select statement so CTE will be effective in this select statement only if you write something else here it will not be effective your above query will not be effective okay so remember this point always so so now what is the query that we have written here let's under let us understand that so we have made use of dense rank function to implement this requirement okay so now as you can see here select salary dense rank over order by salary in descending order so this will give you the rank for the salaries in descending order okay so even if we have some common or same salaries also so this dense rank function will give us the correct results okay. so we have created a cte here as you can see here with high cell as select salary comma dense rank over order by salary descending as dense rank from table employee okay now what we are doing here we are using a select query that will give us the top one salary from the city that we have created where the filter condition where it is dense rank is equal to 5 or whatever number the interviewer is asking for. Okay. So in this way you can answer this question effectively and correctly. Let's move ahead with the next question. That is the third question. Write the SQL code to delete duplicate records from a table. Okay. This is a very common question that is being asked. So you must know how to answer this. Okay, let's have the solution now. So, so again we will make use of a CTE that is a common table expression and some windows functions apart from dense rank. So here we have used row number function. Okay, now how we have written the query? So with so with result as this, this is the query. Okay, so what is there in the query? Select star. We have made use of row number function or partition by ID, order by ID. So what a partition will do, it will create partitions for individual IDs that are there in the table. Okay. Now for every particular ID, suppose some uh, rows are there. So row number will give 
separate row numbers for this like from 1 to n for that particular partition of id okay in this way for the other partitions also it will give separate numbers from 1 to n and so this is the required cte that you that you should write here with the result as select star row underscore number function over partition by id order order by id as row number from employee table then again we will make use of city in the next statement where it is created so delete from result result is the name of the city that we have already created where row number is greater than one okay so in this way whatever re duplicates records were there in the table that will be deleted through using this city so in this way you can answer this question now you should be able to answer these questions very effectively let's move ahead with the next question which is the last query that we will be discussing today write a sql query to find the employees that were hired in the last 30 days okay think of the answer let's have the solution so we will make use of date diff function to implement this required as you can see here select star comma date diff and date diff takes three arguments first one is the interval for which we are calculating since here we are talking about 30 days only so we will take the interval as day second one is the hire date so this is the column from which we will be comparing and get date function this is the third argument okay so get date will give you the current date so date diff, date diff will what what it will do it will give you the difference between the current date and the hiring date okay and in what terms in terms of days okay and we have created this name and we have created this column with alias as duration okay so select star comma date diff day hire date get date as duration from employee where date diff day hire date get date which is the uh, which will give you the difference between 1 and 30 that's what we they, that's what we require here we want the last 30 days so we have given the range between 1 and 30 between function will take the uh, first and the last values also so 1 and 30 are included and then we are ordering by higher date in descending order so in this way you can answer this question suppose if they ask in terms of months or year also so what you have to do you just have to change the interval here okay so if they ask 30 months then what you have to do you have to just replace day here with months okay. in that way you will get the number of employees that were had the last 30 months okay so now I think you can answer all these questions correctly. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you learned a lot through this video and got some idea about the SQL interview question asked in Power BI interviews. And I will continue to upload more videos on SQL for Power BI interviews. So please stay tuned. And again, I would request you to please hit the like and subscribe button as it will give me the motivation to upload more videos for you all. Thank you.